Hello everyone, it's your girl Ray and welcome to Ray's Budget. Today I will be doing my last cash stuffing of the month. I need to take care of some of my envelopes including my bills and my everyday spending and a few savings challenges. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Hello family, check out the comment from our supporter of the day, Nicole Thomas. Nicole, thank you so much for your support. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope all is well with everyone. Now, if you are a returning family member, thank you so much for being here today. And if you are new here and like everything budgeting, cash stuffing, saving, and paying off debt, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Now guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's read the inspirational quote of the day first. And it states... Life is like an elevator. On your way up, sometimes you have to stop and let some people off. That right there is a good one, and that is so true, guys. Now, today we are going to be stuffing $1,063, so let me go ahead and get it out the cash tray. And here's the cash breakdown so you guys can check it out. I'm going to put that off to the side and let me go ahead and put this money in the cash tray really quick. Okay, guys, the very first binder we are going to address today is my Everyday Spending Envelopes binder. And as most of you may know, we unstuff first. And the money that is left in here is going to go to my Spend Less Save More Challenge that I will stuff in a few moments. And then we'll stuff it with money that I will use for the upcoming week. So, groceries, I do have some money in there. Dining out. And we will count this when I get ready to do the actual challenge that this money is going to go in. So I actually did pretty good this past week, guys. So, okay, so let's get to stuffing. And I'll always put this down wrong. Let's do that. Okay, so groceries is going to be getting $150. So 50, 1, 20, 40, 50. And I got a question for you guys. Put your answer down in the comments. How much is eggs in your area? Guys, when I went to the grocery store this past weekend, oh Lord, I, why is a dozen of eggs at my Walmart $4.89? I think that is just ludicrous. It's like double the amount they're supposed to be. So let me know how much um, they are in your area. We typically don't eat eggs too much, but I still like to have them in the refrigerator. So if I make any like cornbread or... If I do like um, breakfast for dinner one night, or even if I want to make my husband breakfast on Sunday, it's nice to have, have eggs. But right now, the price is just really, really um, ridiculous. But dining out today, guys, we'll be getting $40, 10, 20, 30, 40. Spending today, we'll be getting $10, 10. It seems like every every weekend that I go to the grocery store, I get more and more. That, that's neither here nor there. Okay, allowance is going to get five. And that's one reason why, guys, it's very important to do a list when you go to the grocery store. That helps out a lot with prices being so expensive. And gas is going to get 25, 20, and five. Yeah. Take inventory of what you already have before you go to the store. And then what you want to do is make a list of meals that you can make based off what you currently have. And then what you don't have, make a list for, go to the grocery store, and you'll see that you can save money that way. So next, guys, what we're going to do is move on to my bills binder. Alrighty, guys, this is my bills binder, and this is actually going to be the last week we stuff for the bills before I go in, pull everything out and make sure I have enough to take to the bank to pay my uh, February bills. Now, 
for those of you who are new, I um I can stuff for my bills because I'm one month ahead. So right now I am stuffing in January for my February bills. But anyway, today for mortgage, we're going to be stuffing $337. So let's see. One, two, 50, three, 20, 30, five, six, seven. And let me put this in here real quick. And this should take us to what we need for the mortgage for the month. Alrighty guys, let's see where we're at for mortgage. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1,000, 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, $1,348, and I actually only need $1,345. Next, we have insurance, guys. Insurance today will be getting $40. So let's see, no 10s. It's going to get two 20s. Oops. And let's see where we're at for insurance. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 160 dollars for insurance. Is that right? 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Okay. And actually, this is going to be too much because our insurance went down. But we will talk about that during my um, budget with me video for the month of February. Next, we have utilities. Utilities today will be get seventy. Will be getting seventy. It says here sixty, but I needed to increase it because of the um, price of gas, natural gas, in the winter time. So today, this will be getting one fifty and two tens for seventy dollars. And let's see where this takes us. Fifty one, fifty two, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. We are at two hundred and eighty dollars for utilities. Awesome. Now cell phones today will be getting twenty four dollars. Twenty one, two, three, four. And let's see where this takes us. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are at $96 for cell phones, guys. And me and my husband, we use consumer cellular, just as an FYI. Now, internet today will be getting $22. So let's do a 20 and two ones. And let's see where this takes us. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. 88 dollars for the internet. Next, we have the streaming service, and the streaming service will be getting $15. Now, guys, this includes um, four different streaming services that we use, and they total about $60 a month. So let's see where we're at. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Perfect. And then last, we have the Roth IRA. The Roth IRA will be getting $50 today. So 50, 50, no, 75, my bad. 50, 70, and 5. And let's see where this takes us to. 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 90, 95, 3, 300 dollars. Perfect. Okay, guys, next we're going to move to my revolving and long-term sinking funds. Okay, guys, this is my revolving and long-term sinking funds binder. And for anyone new out there, just as an FYI, not only do I stuff revolving and long-term sinking funds, I also stuff high-priority sinking funds, but I stuff those sinking funds on the opposite weeks I do my revolving and long-term sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get to stuffing these. Now today, guys, car maintenance will be getting $20. Twenty, and we're at twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one, 
20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 30. We are at $330 for car maintenance. Next, we have YouTube, guys, and today YouTube will be getting $10. 10, so now we're at 1020. And guys, my next monetary giveaway giveaway will be when I hit 10,000 subscribers, just as a FYI. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. Miscellaneous, or what I also call my general funds, guys, today we'll be getting $40. And this is like a catch-all envelope. I also call it my clutch envelope. This is the envelope I go into if I don't have an envelope for what I what it is that I need. So today this envelope will be getting $40. And trust me guys, this envelope gets hit all the time, but that's what it's there for. 20, 40. So we are now at 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. $47 for general funds. And this is probably going to get hit this weekend because my grandson called me and said he wants to go skating. So we will see. Next, we're going to move to my long-term sinking funds. And guys, I only have three. One is my grandson. Well, we have my grandson, Elijah, my uh, granddaughter, Nalia, and my youngest grandson, Messiah. Now, today, Elijah will be getting $10. And that takes us to, this is a $50 placeholder, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. We have $142 for Elijah. Next, we have Nalia. Nalia today will be getting $5. And that will take Nalia to 50, 100, 120, 125, 30, 35, 40, 45. You know what? That's 145. I think I miscounted EJ. She should be two, 200. I think I just misspoke. So let me do that one more time. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 41 to 200. And 42. I apologize for that. Okay, and then last we have Messiah. Today, Messiah will be getting $5 as well. And that takes side to 50, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. $145 for Messiah. Next, guys, we're going to move to my self care binder. Okay, guys, this is my self-care binder, and there are only three envelopes within this binder that are going to be getting stuffed today. And just as a FYI, if you are new to stuffing, um, you don't have to stuff all of your sinking funds every time you stuff. If you don't have the money, you don't have the money. For me, when it comes to self-care, it, trust me, is very important but sometimes you have other envelopes that have high priority over some of your other envelopes. So um, just a reminder, you don't have to stuff every envelope, especially if you're not anticipating a need for that money in a specific envelope. And for me, this envelope has, I think seven, this binder has about seven different envelopes in it, but today I'm only stuffing three because the other four are not high priority for me right now. So nails today will be getting $25. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And let's see where we're at for nails. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. We are at $59 for nails. Next, we have hair and brows. That will be getting $40 today. So let's see. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. And let's see what that takes us to. So for hair and brows, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
$65.71. We have $72 for hair and brows. Personal essentials will not be getting stuffed. Clothes and shoes will not be getting stuffed. Self dates won't be. Gifts to myself will not be getting stuffed. But massages will be getting $5 today, guys. So let's see where this takes us to for massages. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We have $60 in here for massages. So guys, that is going to be it for my self-care binder. Let's go ahead and move on to my savings challenges. Okay, guys, this is my savings challenge binder. And we have two savings challenges that we need to address. And I stuff these savings challenges every day week when I do my cash stuffing, the first one we are going to address is my spend less, save more challenge. Guys, now with this challenge, I strictly stuff this challenge with money left over from my everyday spending envelopes. And it's just basically a way for me to um, try to curb my spending within my everyday spending envelopes because I know any money that I do not spend goes into this challenge and guys my goal with this challenge is to make one extra principal only mortgage payment totaling one thousand three hundred and forty five dollars which equals one of our monthly mortgage payments so let's go ahead and see how much we we have going into this challenge today get my markers out so we have 10 15 20 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Also, we have three, um, 300. I wish y'all $33 going into this challenge. So what I am going to do really quick is add this to what we already have in here for the month to see what progress I've made and to see if I'm able to color in a piggy on my actual challenge tracker. So Let's see how much we have to all together. And I'm going to move this over a little bit because I need to get out my calculator. So we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. For the month, I saved $115 out of my everyday spending envelopes, guys. That is awesome. So, what we're going to do is look on my tracker. Last month, I made a payment of $1,000. $1, Why do I keep saying $1,000? Sheesh. $146. So, we're going to add... The 146 to the 115, so plus 146. That gives us $261 that I've saved so far. So let me go ahead and put this back in here. And in order for me to color in a little piggy, um, each of these are worth $40 a piece. So what I'm going to do is take the 40 and divide it by 261, or take 261 and divide it by the 40. So divide it by 40. I am able to color in six and a half piggies. So far, I have one, two, three, four, five colored in. So awesome, guys. I get to color in another little piggy. So let me do that really quick, and we can move on to the Mrs. Moneybag Savings Challenge. Awesome. So guys, what this basically means is when I do my um, bills unstuffing, I'm going to also unstuff this as well take the money to the bank so I can make my principal only payment on my mortgage. Now the next savings challenge I wanted to address, let me move this out the way, is the Mrs. Moneybags challenge, guys. And with this challenge, I am trying to save up $500 so I can get me a manual treadmill and some other workout equi equipment like some resistance bands and different things like that. So we're actually almost done with this challenge because... This is the tracker. And look at this, guys. This thing. Oh, you know what? That's why it seems so big. Let me move that out the way. It's still a little thick up in here. But anyway, so today, thanks to two other people who signed up for my 
for they use my link or my referral link to sign up for the Walmart credit card. Thank you guys so much. Today we will be stuffing this challenge with 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Shouldn't be that much. It should only be 90. Something's going on. Did I miss something? I'll figure it out. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so since we have $100, guys, I get to color in 10 of these money bags because each money bag is worth $10. So give me one second while I do that. Okay, guys, I've colored in the 10 money bags. So um, I'm really going to have to go through all of my envelopes to make sure that I stuff them all properly. And if I did, then this $100 will stay in there. But if not, there should only be $90 going into this challenge. But let's go ahead and put this money in here and count how much we have. And I don't know if I stated it, but the goal for this challenge is $500. Okay, we are at 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 25, 30. We have $430 in the Mrs. Moneybags Challenge. Guys, and my goal is to get this one completed this month. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love to have you here. Guys, I will see you on Save Day Sunday. Now remember, I will be completing four savings challenges moving that money to my life happens funds which is my bigger goal for the year and i will be introducing you guys to some saving challenges i will be doing for the month of february but guys have a great rest of your week god bless bye guys